What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskull. Welcome back to Danganronpa V3. Let's do it. Our first class trial. Can't believe it was real, but Rantaro was killed just before the time limit. Now Kaede and Shuichi must take on the class trial. No one wanted to believe it was real. There we go. So just like the previous games, you can equip skills to your set skill slot. And these skills range from giving you more health, or influence in this case, giving you more focus, which allows you to slow things down. But uh, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm just going to put some of these skills that I know will help me get a good ranking at the end. Um, I don't think I'll be showing off a lot of them because a lot of them do come back from previous games. But some of them, the more interesting ones, I'll be sure to point out. Ah, crap. This also includes a few of the new mechanics that we'll be talking about, and I'm sure the tutorial has plenty to say on them. ay ay, -ay. There are so many that I want to use. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and take a look, and then I will show you what I have set. Here's what we're looking like. Attentive Influence, which increases maximum influence, so I want extra health for our first class trial. I also got Upshift, increases the speed of the reticle. Actually more helpful than you think. Trigger Happy, decreases the delay after using Truth Bullets or Truth Blades. You'll see why I want that in a bit. And then one particular one. Reveals V-Points. Yeah. It's one of the new mechanics. Don't worry, we'll look into it. Man. It's it's gonna be a it's gonna be a trip. One thing I would suggest before you go into your class trials to take a look at the handbook. It lets you look at all the truth bullets that you have to work with. I would actually say go ahead and look at all these and be sure to read carefully. If you've ever played Phoenix Wright or any game that's like this where you have to deal with evidence, you want to look at the specific details they give. Sometimes there will be something that you didn't know about specifically because nobody mentioned it but it's still on the evidence. Like, for example, the promotional video background music states it was on full volume until the murder occurred. Even though we heard that in-game, nobody said it out loud. At least... I did. <laughs> he did not have anything that looked like a key card. And uh, sometimes you'll have to look into specifics. Just be sure to look at this. Trust me, you're gonna want to. But I think that's it. We're ready. Oh, Rantaro. Why did you have to die first? Let's go. Ahem. Now then, let's begin with the basic explanation of the class trial. Oh, and for those of you who are new to class trials, they are all voiced. It's a nice change. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is, and vote for who done it. Vote correctly, and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate from this academy. Also, refusing to vote will result in your death. So you better vote for someone. That is actually an update to the rules when it comes to class trials. You have to vote. You cannot abstain. Now let's get this crazy awesome, crazy awesome trial underway! So, it's starting, huh? <laughs> oh man, I haven't been in a trial in like forever. So you're at least used to it. Oh, so you have experience with trials? Yeah, <laughs> since I'm a leader of evil and stuff, <laughs> I've done a lot of bad things. So, what are we supposed to do? Where do we even start? Well, how about general discussion? Gonta never done trial before. Not sure where to begin. First, let's breathe in. And breathe out! We need to remember our no-no-no's. No pushing, no running, no 
talking. So we're all gonna die. Thanks, Tenko. But communication is the foundation of any discussion. We should not worry about our procedure, especially since this is not a normal trial. Each of us will be serving as a potential culprit, lawyer, prosecutor, and jury member. Thanks for laying it out like that. That actually explains a lot. Let us proceed with that in mind, shall we? Then might I offer the first topic? Please do. Don't fucking get ahead of us! You trying to start some shit? Hey, at least he's trying to start it. C calm down. How about we listen first? Atua has spoken. He says it is vital that we hear everyone's testimony. Agreed. I'm a good listener because my ears are clean. Once, I cleaned them so hard, they bled. Very insightful, Himiko. Stop talking. I'll begin the conversation then. There's something I found curious. Why, I wonder, didn't the culprit take advantage of the first blood perk? I thought that was strange, too! I bet they just wanted to do a class trial real bad. But why, though? Then Monokuma's the culprit! The doi! Because this whole class trial was his idea. Very doubtful. Oh, yeah! Easy peasy! I'm a fucking genius! Wait, is it even possible for Monokuma to be the culprit? Ooh, this is important. Of course not! I would never do anything to you guys... directly. <laughs> even if you can't, it's a different story for the person controlling you, right? Hmm? Is it possible that the mastermind controlling Monokuma killed Rantaro? Ooh, here we go. Mastermind? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any mastermind. We've never heard of him. Don't play dumb with me. Who's the mastermind controlling you guys? That's a good thumbnail. The mastermind, huh? Odds are, it's one of us. Agreed. It's Keyboy over here. Everyone else thinks so too. Does everyone really think that? Sorry, best boy. You're the mastermind. We'll get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Before we determine the mastermind, we must uncover the culprit. Then we could start by determining the sequence of events? That'd probably be best. Let's take a closer look at the circumstances of Rantaro's death. Gonta agrees with Shuichi. After all, Shuichi is ultimate detective. Therefore, he know best. Then let us start by reviewing the incident. Okay, deep breaths. We're about to get into our first conversation about the murder. By the end, we will know exactly who killed Rantaro. Oh, hi, Tutorial. Here to butt in. Ugh, I was I was gonna explain this, but yeah, here's how non-stop debates work. There are going to be highlighted words or phrases that you can shoot a truth bullet at. This means you can contradict it or find a contradiction within it based on the truth bullet you shoot. Basically, you are going to get a long string of dialogue from everybody, and it'll go around in a circle. So it'll start from fi from phrase one and go to the last phrase and then you'll have a chance to think about it and then repeat. It will give you a set number of truth bullets that you can use, so one of them will be the solution. It's not like they're gonna give you random ones and you're like, well, I'm kinda screwed. You take aim and fire. Go for those weak points that are different from all the other text, and try to find what doesn't make sense or what goes against the evidence. That goes without saying, you have to have the right bullet. And this is why I said you want to take a look at the truth bullets before you start this. Again, you need to hone in on those specific details.
you're given a lot of time to get through these non-stop debates, so you'll be fine. And then there's a new element! Here we go! You can concentrate to make time slow down. I believe this was introduced in the first Danganronpa. You could just slow it down, but here's the new thing. V-points. You'll get an awesome V-counter, a bullseye. It improves your score, so you'll get a lot more mana coins at the end. There is actually a trophy for getting all types of V-counters. Except it's a little bugged, and if you get one of them, you'll get the trophy anyway. You got it, Tutorial. Thanks for taking over for a bit. Rantaro's body was found... just before the time limit, right? He was killed in the library. Rantaro was alone in the library. The culprit could have snuck up on him. What was he even doing in the library anyway? He was opening that moving bookcase for one reason. Because he knew about the hidden door! That means Rantaro was masterminding this whole thing! This is why I select that specific skill, letting you know where the weak points are for V-counters. They show up immediately. And if you shoot those, you're getting a pretty good score, even if you select normal mode or even easy mode. That's an example of how a non-stop debate works. And for the sake of this Let's Play, I'm going to let them speak uninterrupted the first time, just so you can hear all the statements for yourself and make a logical conclusion. Now, I saw something, and I think a lot of you did too. He was killed in the library. No, it wasn't killed in the Rantaro library. Was there was something else that really caught my eye, and it was pretty much an accusation out of nowhere. And that's what I want to fire on. We already know what Rantaro had on his person, and that goes against this statement that's coming up. The fact that he's being accused of being the mastermind. Got it. No, that's wrong. No, oh, wait, I missed the V. Damn it. Wait a minute. I don't think Rantaro was the mastermind. Game would be over if that was the case. Huh? Why? Because Rantaro didn't have the card key to open the hidden door. You'd think the mastermind would have that card key on him, right? Perhaps the culprit took the card key after killing Rantaro. Hmm, that's a thought. But... But none of the pictures show Rantaro holding the card key. Well, that, and a small other fact that we know. So, I don't really think he had the key at all. Also, if the Mastermind had died there, this killing game would have already ended. You are correct. The possibility of him being the Mastermind is quite low. Then how Rantaro know about Hidden Door? That's what we want to know. Maybe he stumbled across it in the library. You know, like how Shuichi did? Okay. Or maybe the mastermind told him about it. But What? Why would the mastermind tell him that? To lure Rantaro to the library and kill him. Ooh, interesting. Does that mean the culprit and the mastermind are one and the same? That's what we're trying to get at. Hmm. That does seem plausible. It's very likely the Mastermind knew about Kaede and Shuichi's trap. The Mastermind knew about our trap this whole time? That would really suck. This case may have become the perfect crime thanks to your hidden cameras. Great, so we ended up aiding them? The Mastermind knew about your trap and exploited it to commit their crime. Oops. So after the Mastermind lured Rantaro and murdered his ass, they used Kai Idiot and Puichi's hidden cameras to arrange the perfect crime. Great. Did they really take advantage of our trap, though? Is this really the perfect crime? Are we in an unsolvable mystery? Okay, we're only one debate in, and we're already calling, hey, we failed. 
I guess this is a dead end. Good lord, guys. Come on, there's got to be another topic we can bring up. Wait, don't give up that easily. We already know the culprit is the mastermind. We gotta work together to find the mastermind. Then we can end this killing game. You yap about teamwork and all that, but you still think one of us is the mastermind. Well, wouldn't you? Yes, and I know that's a horrible thought. But that's why I want to end all the terrible things happening to us. I'll defeat the mastermind and end this dumb killing game. I'll... I'll even use this class trial to do that. Kaede. All right. <laughs> wow. Looks like you're determined to face even a cold, hard truth. Then here it comes. The cold, hard truth. Lay it on me, jerk ass. Huh? I already figured out who killed Rantaro. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Why are you surprised? Cause if he's right, that would make this the fastest class trial to date! How fast was the previous record anyway? Ooh, let's see if they know. Real fast, let me tell you. He was like a leaf on the wind. Oh yeah! I guess now he's won with the wind. I think they might be talking about the very first case. Yeah, I think about him this time of year too! The way he soared through the enemy fleet all oh, badass! Just to die like a little bug. Alright, never mind. Shut it, you weirdos! This is an important conversation! Kokichi, are you serious about knowing who the culprit is? Yup. So, we all agree that the culprit knew about Kaede and Shuichi's trap, right? No shit! That's why they're not in any of the pictures. So who is it? So whoever knew about the hidden cameras is the culprit. Ooh, what a spin. So who the hell is it? Well, think about it. There's only three people who knew. The fourth one's dead. It's you! <laughs> what? No, oh, what? You made the cameras used for the trap, right? How did I know she'd get called out? Obviously, whoever made the cameras knew about the blind spots. Before breakfast was the only time someone would be able to sneak by. What the hell brought this on all of a sudden? I... I just designed the cameras. I didn't know they'd get set up in the library. If someone asked me to make cameras, I'd totally ask what they were for. How come you never asked what the cameras were for, huh? Huh? I... I, I pulled an all-nighter making them and afterward just sort of passed out. You're getting awfully worked up. Look at you. You're sweating. Can I tell you, I've been waiting for the interaction between Kokichi and Mew this entire time. I'm always wet. I'm just feeling extra sensitive, like these big boobs of mine. God, really? With someone so aggressive, you're kind of a wimp, huh, Mew? A very sensitive, wet wimp. Already? D -d Do you want money? Is that it? Your pathetic excuses are consistent with those of a common male criminal. <laughs> Jesus, get dunked on, Mew. Look, we know why she's innocent. But, you know, seeing her squirm a little bit makes me smile. Oh, good lord. All right, so there are different types of statements that you can shoot in non-stop debates. They are called argue points. Basically, if you find a truth bullet that coincides with them, you would agree with somebody. So, if Mew somehow finds a way to to uh, clear her name, we can actually agree with that because we have evidence to back her up. Yes, the testimony would be correct. 
thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> yes, we will consent to that idea. Don't worry, we can get a new V consent. Which sounds really wrong out of context. And this time, I will actually try and hit the V. Let's see how Mew is going to defend herself. Why don't you just admit it already? You're the culprit, aren't you, Mew? No way! That's not possible! So you knew nothing about the trap in the library? I'm telling you, I had no idea! Not like it matters. Because I never went to the library, okay? The person who made the cameras... would have known their blind spots, too. Yeah, well, I didn't make the cameras either! Okay, so a lot of you probably saw there were only two statements in there. One of them was a bold-faced lie. <laughs> Because she's already stated that she's made the cameras Why in the first place. So uh, we're actually going to come to her You're rescue. The culprit, aren't you, Mew? And there is somebody who no knew that she never went to the library. And in fact, so we know this too. It's all library? based on what Korkio said no earlier. Idea. So no, yeah, I'm going to agree with this. Mew, I'm coming really? to your rescue. I'm going to slow this down so I can actually hit the damn thing. Got it! I agree with that. Oh, wait, never mind. I missed it again. Fuck! <laughs> 